Good evening, online scholars. It is Wednesday evening as we are in the middle of week two, the naturalist text. I just wanted to check in and also give you a brief introduction to the time period and to also the text that you will be reading this week. Okay. As you move into these texts, you will notice a difference. Uh, we move from the local color and the regionalist authors to the naturalist authors. These are authors who published pieces in the late 19th century, early 20th century, and they were authors who really wanted to give insight to uh, the life of the middle class. Okay, So as you read the text this week, um, please note the differences between last week's texts and this week's texts. All right? um, be sure to read the background of all of your authors. You have Charlotte Perkins Gilman, who was... Um, a feminist. She was an advocate for women's rights. She came from a very strong female um, family. Uh, she was related to Harriet Beecher Stowe, who wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin. So be sure to read her background because it's very interesting. Uh, she comes from a long line of strong female advocates. Okay, and then you'll be reading um, M. Edith Wharton's the other two. Okay, so take a look at her background. She's from New York. Charlotte Perkins Gilman uh, was from Hartford, for Connecticut. And then finally, you'll be reading a piece by Theodore Dreiser called Sister Carrie. All right, so all naturalist texts, but very different in their own way. Um, Charlotte Perkins Gilman, um, I would definitely uh, implore you to read over. Um, the PDF that I uploaded in this week's folder, it's about, um, it's basically an article explaining why she wrote the text. Because if you don't understand the background, this short story can be very difficult to understand. So know that Charlotte wrote the yellow wallpaper as a social commentary. Um, as a critique, uh, she was critiquing the doctors who were prescribing what was known as the rest cure during this time period to women who were suffering from postpartum depression. Because at that time, they didn't know what, um, why women were so depressed after giving birth. So while we call it postpartum depression now, during that time period, um, they really didn't know what to call it. And many of the doctors who were frustrated um, just told the women that, you know, they would be best to just rest and not do anything. So they, they thought these women were going mad when they just were suffering from an imbalance of hormones and depression after giving birth to a child. So read over that. Um, again, Charlotte was making a social critique and trying to bring awareness to the issue that she was experiencing. A lot of symbolism going on, uh, and I look forward to discussing that with you on the discussion board this week. As you move into Edith Wharton's piece, the other two, um, you might really love the piece, you might really enjoy her preciseness, or you might loathe her, you know, her attention to detail. Either way, definitely let me know what you think of it and how you think it relates to the time period in which it was written. And finally, you'll be reading Dreiser's, just an excerpt from his, um, his piece, Sister Carrie. Now, Theodore Driver tends to focus on characters who are really trying to attain objectives and goals, but unfortunately, they might be willing to betray their morals to achieve these goals. So, read over that. Let me know what you think. Uh, again, any commonalities you notice, please post. Also, address the differences between the naturalist texts and the local color texts, and also any common themes you notice, any differences in structure. I look forward to reading your responses this week. All right, Your initial post is due Friday. Your responses to your peers um, are due on Sunday. Okay, There is no quiz this week, so you can breathe a sigh of relief. We're just having a really fun discussion, discussing some great literature. So enjoy your time on the discussion board, and I will see you Sunday night or Monday. Take care. Bye.